Hey, what's going on? Bill's Krosama here. And what we have today is going to be an analysis video on the Sword Strike Gundam. Now, I'm going to be frank with, with you guys. I don't care about this mobile suit. Um, I do like the Sword Strike. Uh, I do have I have the perfect strike, but I did buy the Master Grade Sword Strike with like the launcher pack as well. Uh, and I did have it in the launcher, not the not the launcher, but the uh, the Sword Strike mode for a long time because I I prefer this a little bit more than the launcher. Uh, but I, I think it's it's not a bad design, but I think in this game, I just don't like the way it looks. Because for one, it comes with two swords. Like, you have the normal sword that you actually use as a melee weapon, but then you have the EX skill sword. So, it looks just a little bit ridiculous, and I'm going to show you what I mean. So, hopefully it, uh, it reflects that. No, it doesn't reflect that. So... I think that does it right there. Yeah, so you're going to have two swords, which is... Uh, hold on. There we go. So it's, I don't know, man. That's that's just so stupid. Like they could have, they could have like made it to where if you are equipped with the sword, the sword in the back disappears. I don't know why they didn't do that, but this is, I don't know. To me, this is poor design. So um, I, I'm hoping that the guys can maybe fix this in a future update. Um, if not, I mean, in in future, uh, mobile suits is going to come out that has a option to like you know, mount the weapon on the body somehow, please have it to where that weapon disappears when you actually are using the equipped weapon. Uh, and if you're using, like, a beam weapon, then have, like, the, the bladed weapon or whatever mounted. That's completely fine. Uh, but, yeah, I think this is just... It's just bad. Now, the way to get these parts is going to be through the shop. So, if you go to the exchange, uh, you can actually get these parts using the coins. And, you know, it's not really that uh, that many coins. You're going to need these for the challenges anyway. So, uh, you probably already have these because you're just completing those scenario challenges daily. Okay, and so now looking at the head first. Um, the stats are looking really good. The shot attack is actually pretty good for a default 3 star. Um, the EX skill in question is going to be protection hack beta. So debuff, 51 seconds, 33 seconds, first time seconds, uh, 7 seconds. Reduce physical resistance of all enemies by 39%. So it says physical resistance, but this is the thing. I'm going to show you real quick. Your main weapon is not physical. This is a beam weapon. So... I don't know that if it would have said lower the beam resistance of all the enemies, that would make sense. But yeah, this I don't know. I mean, I guess you can replace this with a physical weapon like the mace, but I don't know. I just don't get it. I don't. I don't get the purpose behind that unless you're just using this as a supporter type mobile suit. Uh, so that way, as a support in your three v three. It can use that ability, and then you already have a resistance, uh, or you have a physical melee weapon that can do something like that. But I don't know, man. It just, it just doesn't make sense to me. And next we're going to have is going to be the body, which isn't really horrible. It's actually pretty decent uh, across the board. But you're going to have against a large enemy, enemy strong melee power reduced 25%. Yeah, this is definitely looking like a uh, defensive type uh, part, which I'm actually pretty all, f I'm all for it. But the thing that kind of confuses me is against a large enemy, does that mean 1 in 100 suits? Does that mean 1 in 60 suits? Does that mean raid you know, mobile armors like the big Zam? I don't know. Uh, I think we really need some kind of clarification on what a large enemy is. And I don't know, maybe I'll, I'll scope, uh, scoop around and see if there's any kind of like clarification on uh, large enemies. I want to say it's 1 in 100 suits. Or any, maybe even, even it's just anything bigger than a 1 in 144 scale. Because technically, that's what all your mobile suits are, 1 in 144 scales. Um, even though the new Gundam Verka is definitely a master grade, so whatever. Um, but yeah, against large enemy, if this does count for like both, uh, well, all like 1 in 100s, 1 in 60s, and raids, then this is a really, really good suit. Because enemy strong melee power reduced 25% is pretty fantastic. And next we're going to have is going to be the arms. Now the arms is going to have the shield attachment to it. Uh, but you got armor. Uh, melee attack is really not that great. It's it's okay, um, but it's definitely not hitting like top peaks. But it's definitely better than what we've seen in the past for a lot of default three stars. Uh, maybe not as much as the Rising Gundam, but I do think that it's still fine. So shot attack is pretty good as well. Uh, but a lot, a lot of these stats are going to be incorporated because you do have the shield. So... I don't know, man. I think it's okay for what it is. Now, for the EX skill, you're going to have block stance. Why? Um, you're going to have the buff, 51 seconds, 33 seconds, 7 seconds. Raise melee defense of your squad by 39%. This is looking like a solid defender type. 
Um, so I think I've been I'm kind of eyeing this mobile suit a little bit more than my uh, my Titus. So I don't know, man. It's looking really solid uh, in terms of being a good defender type. It's kind of weird that it's a technique. Uh, kind of I was thinking more of power, but hey, technique's not really horrible. There's a lot of good technique uh, pilots out there. So this may be something I'm looking a little more closer to for uh, my raid, you know, my raid mobile suit. Next, we're moving on to the legs. So the legs aren't really horrible. Some decent stats. Against a large enemy, once again, melee crit rate boosted 17%. So these are very niche um, you know, traits. These are not these probably won't be really good in PvE, like if you're just doing a normal mission, unless it is accounting for the 1 in 100 scale mobile suit. So if it is, and I, I might test this out, but it's kind of hard to test it because you know a lot of these like boss mobile suits, like the one in one hundreds, they have you know much higher stats uh, stats than a normal one in one one in one forty four skill suit. So I don't really know how how I can really test this out that well. Um, but yeah, melee crit rate boost to seventeen percent is going to be really really good um, in terms of just like you know doing the raids and doing these like really big boss battles because you're gonna want those high crits. And let's move it on to the backpack. I don't really think these stats are that great for a backpack. Um, I mean, maybe for a three star. But looking at the EX skill, so you have the Schwartz Dryer. I, I'm not. I'm just butchering it. Uh, you have a B melee attack, so you're gonna have D and B and power. So that's the power is not too bad. Uh, first time is gonna be eight seconds, thirty seconds after. Jump and bring a charged blade down on the foe's head. Raise your melee defense by nineteen percent. Once again, this is just screaming defensive type mobile suit. So you're going to have uh, an attack that is also going to raise your defenses at the end. Fantastic. I love that. Um, obviously, there's other you know backpacks that can do way better uh, than this. So obviously, like the, the Trans Am Raid is something that's a little bit better. Um, but, you know, I think for a, a defensive type EX skill, this isn't horrible whatsoever. And lastly, we are going to have the Schwartz. I'm just going to call it the Ship Destroyer because it's kind of what it is. Uh, but you're going to have this massive beam melee attack weapon. Uh, the melee attack is not really horrible. It's actually pretty damn good. Uh, it's going to have some good resistances right there. Now let's take a look at the Maelstrom. So you're going to have category beam melee. Uh, piercing is going to be A-, minus, which is really good. Uh, power is going to be D. Cool down 30 seconds. First time, 3 seconds. So immediately you're pulling off this really good EX skill. Uh, blow through foe spinning to strike them with your blade. So I, I've already seen this in action. I'll show you uh, you guys in a bit. But yeah, this is a really good EX skill. It's obviously something that can be interrupted fairly easily. Uh, but I think for one, for a free three star, this is actually a pretty solid weapon. Now we're looking at the word tag. So all the word tags are pretty solid, and you know you're gonna get two active word tags for this mobile suit. You're gonna have high firepower. Which is raise melee and shot attack by 5% while active. Uh, then you have close combat, which is raise armor 5% and melee attack 5% while active. So you're getting 10% uh, melee, you're getting 5% shot attack and 5% armor. That, that's great. And then you're also going to have Gundam type. So um, you're definitely not going to be able to get Gundam type unless you kind of do a lot of like playing around with this mobile suit. Uh, so you would have to get rid of one you know, regular part and then... Yeah, so if you just get rid of like maybe the Swartz, uh, try and get a Gundam type in there, and then your gun have a Gundam type, and then your pilot be Gundam type, or some kind of variant of that, then you can have three active word tags on this mobile suit, and Gundam type isn't really too horrible. Gundam type raises armor 5%, physical resistance 5% while active, so in total you have a 10% uh, increase on your armor. Fantastic, 10% on your armor, 10% on your melee attack, 5% on your uh, melee resistance, and then 5% on your shot attack. Beautiful. Uh, well, physical resistance. Uh, that's going to be fantastic. So uh, I'm, I might try and do something like that when I go to the custom side. Now, we're looking for a weapon. You do have a couple of options, but I think the best option that you are going to have is probably going to be the beam rifle from the Hakushiki. Uh, because when... Well, I'll just show you right here. When attacking with beam... EX skill power boosted 20%. So your two EX skills are going to be beam oriented. They're going to their power is going to be boosted 20%. So hey, that's pretty good. Uh, so that's actually exactly what you're going to want. So hey, we're going to equip that onto your mobile suit. So when looking for a perfect pilot, 
Um, I think Mash is actually a pretty good option uh, for the fact that he is a technique uh, with technique attribute self, EX skill piercing boosted 11%. So this is going to be an outfighter. Um, obviously, you probably want to go maybe more uh, defense. Uh, I think defense is probably going to be the best route. Uh, but if you can't go defense, I think outfighter is really good. I would probably stay away from end fighter to be honest. Uh, but outfighter looks like it's going to be pretty good. Um, but defender obviously is the best. And mash is just... You know, I'm, I'm not going to go for the easy, like, just go for, like, Psy or even go for, like, um, I don't know, one of the other guys that's, like, really top tier. Uh, let's go for Mash. People can get Mash. He's not hard to get. And he's going to increase your uh, EX skill piercing by 11%. So, hey, that's actually a win. All right, so we're jumping into just a really easy uh, mission over here. Uh, we're going to just kind of wait till EX skills all charge up. Oh, they're all coming from me. All right, so this is going to be the Maelstrom. Woo! That did so much damage. That's actually really good. Uh, let's go ahead and throw up some protection. And use that Swartz. Oh, baby, that's so good. And we get the defense. So that was the uh, the backpack, and the first one that we did was actually the, um, the sword. Looking really good so far. I'm just going to do them all again, so... I know it's going to take a minute for us to uh, to get these charged. Oh, I just one-shot him. I didn't mean to do that. My bad. Sorry. Alright, so here's the Maelstrom. Oh. Mmm. And that's it. So... Pretty damn good EX skills, to be honest. Okay, and here's our custom. So, I really didn't do a bunch of stuff to it. I really just replaced the body, the head, and the beam weapon. But everything else is pretty much the uh, the sword strike. So, I, I just went with some different color schemes. I got a little bit of, uh, what is it, deep yellow or something like that. It's like a yellow color. Um, then I went with, it was like another mobile suit that has some yellow in it. Um, but yeah, that, that's kind of the color scheme I went with. But yeah, so I have the Aegis, I have the Shenlong Gundam's body, then I have the Beam Saber from the original Gundam in there, uh, and then I got the Jian Sword Rifle, uh, and Hero Yui, because I need a Hero Yui for the, um, the word tag. So I did activate all three word tags on this mobile suit, and I still have some pretty good parts. Now let me show you what the, uh, the traits are. So we are going to have uh, four, well I guess technically three, um, EX skills. So we got three EX skills, not really counting that, uh, that shield over there. But for the techniques in general, we're going to have, uh, well, sorry, for the traits, we're going to have with technique attribute, strong melee power boosted 17%. Uh, I'm still going to keep the defender stat because I, I just think that, that actual pilot license is still pretty good for this mobile suit. Um, but then I go down to the beam saber with technique attribute, which we are, uh, melee crit rate is boosted 10%. That is really damn good. Uh, then for the Gian Sword Rifle, when armor is 40% or more, enemy strong melee power reduced 17%. And don't even worry about Hiro Yui, not really worried about him at all. Now for the EX skills, the only one that we really have that's different is going to be um, the Protection B that's from the Titus. So it's really just a buff, raise ally physical resistance by 47%. So it's just a really good buff for my uh, for my allies. Otherwise, um, the overall stats is going to be really good for this if you do power everything up because a lot of these are going to be default st uh, 4 stars. So you got the Shenlong, the Beam Saber, the Jian Sword Rifle. Those are going to be default 4 stars. Uh, and then pretty much everything is going to be default 3 stars except for Hero Yui but you can really replace him with anything else but you may be running the risk of losing that Gundam tight word tag all right so we're going to be running into uh I think it's very hard yeah it's just very hard mode but let's go ahead and try out some of these things so damage output is okay obviously not everything is going to be uh increase and then the protection is not going to help us because it's only for allies but we can go ahead and activate block stance oh we're all overheated Obviously, our shot attack's going to be really good because uh, that weapon, that uh, gun is pretty much maxed out. And get that one down. Let's go ahead and use our... Sw oh, he... That son of a bitch. He knocked us out of it. That's all right, though. We're going to get this boy over here. I'm trying to get them, them uh, crit rates up. Look, we're getting some good crits. 
So this would be a good mobile suit uh, to use maybe in the raids, I would say, um, as a good just tank. I would have to look at all of its defenses, but if you like really customize it fairly well, like, you know, I'm not saying I customize it fairly well, uh, but if you do, you know, maybe get that three word tag, get that 10% uh, on the armor, that's going to be really, really good. So this is something I, I, I want to save like this as like a blueprint and like have it like auto um, activate. All right, I'm going to go ahead and just, wow, once again, that's horrible. That's all right. We still got some good defenses, and so I'm not really worried about any of these mobile suits right now. Yeah. See, not worried whatsoever. But unfortunate we got knocked out of our uh, EX skill so soon. Ooh, that boy got us. Oh my god. I'm going to have to back up a little bit. Like I'm going to have to cheese it just a little bit. There we go. Oh, he's going to get the swords. I'm going to give him all my swords. Yeah, you're just so you're so left out there in the open and honestly, the enemies can easily hit you. Okay, so what should you be maxing out on? Um honestly, I think the head unit is it's not really that great, so maybe not you really don't need to max out on the head unit uh for the fact that the reduced physical resistance of all enemies, it's like it can be uh, it can be viable for maybe like maybe if you are a tank unit and you are using physical attacks, I can see that as being good. Or even if you're like a you know more of a DPS unit, that this could be good. Um, but honestly, I I don't know. I'm not really feeling it that much. Uh, so I would say don't really worry about this particular um, head. Maybe just skip it. But if you are really looking for a supporter role for your team, or even if you want to be the supporter role, maybe go for the head. Now for the body, me personally, I'm not going for it. Um, you know, I'm gonna keep my one body part. But honestly, against a large enemy, I just don't know. I, I don't know because like, the big Zam is not really going to be uh, physical. It's really going to be more of like you know shooting. So. I don't know, man. I, I, I'm probably just not going to max this out. Um, I think I could find a better body part uh, to use for the defender type. Now, for the arms, I think this is an amazing EX skill. If you're going to be taking on the role of defender or you know just tank in general, if you're going to be doing raids. Um, so this is something I'm going to be looking at. I'm probably going to go ahead and just grab this. Yes, it's lacking uh, stats. If you know, if rather just get some arms and a really good shield, uh, you would have definitely way better stats on those two. Uh, but I think this is really a really, really, really good EX skill. So I'm going to pick up 10 of these uh, just so that way I can go ahead and max it out. But yeah, I think it's I think it's really good. Now for the legs, the legs are actually pretty good, uh, especially if what if what I'm uh, anticipating of like the raids and big Zam is going to be um, you know categorized as a large unit. Uh, I think that this is going to be a really good leg part. So I'm gonna go ahead and max out the legs as well. Now for the backpack. You know what? I might, I might, might, might get this, but I do have other good backpacks. So I'm, I don't know, man. I'd rather just probably stick with like maybe the Exia, but the fact that this does have some really good word tags is going to uh, play a big part in constructing my mobile suit. I may actually main the backpack as well. So uh, it's kind of looking like I think this is a really good part to just go ahead and max. So you know what? Go ahead and, and probably max it out. Now for the weapon, if you really don't have any other good weapons, I would say go with this. I'm probably not going to go ahead and max it out for the simple fact that I do have the Gundam's Beam Saber that is just significantly better because uh, as a Technique mobile suit, I'm going to be getting higher crit rates. And that's kind of like what I really want. So I'm not going to be getting most of these. I'm really just going to focus on some of the body parts. But uh, if you really don't have anything that's really good in terms of a default 4 star weapon, Hey, go ahead and pick this up, and you're going to get a really good EX skill. So, uh, you know, A- minus on the piercing, D on power. That's pretty much close to being on par with a lot of default 4-star EX skills. Uh, but, yeah, that's really good, and if you really want it, go ahead and get it. But that's it for me, guys, so definitely appreciate all of you for watching. Um, you know, if you do like this kind of content, let me know in the comment section below. 
Also, please let me know what mobile suit you'd like to see next. I'm going to try and get another one of these analysis videos out maybe on Monday or Tuesday right before the, uh, the new events and the updates launch. So let me know what you would like to see. And this is kind of more of a freebie, so uh, definitely not going to be something like, you know, the strike. I would like to do something that is, is unique, maybe the dual Gundam or something along those lines. Uh, but let me know in the comment section below, and I'll definitely get that analysis out there for you guys. Uh, but yeah, drop a like, comment if you haven't already, and then also subscribe if you haven't already. But I'll be seeing you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.